see guys, uh, so we're going to show you how we bag the scope. Some of you wanted to know how we cover the scope. So what we do is we take these uh, laundry bags, plastic laundry bags, and uh, we open them up. And then we kind of give a release on one side. So just so that you can manipulate these things. What you need to do is cut this one part off with a scissor. So we use the scissor and then just give some relief there. Like that. Okay, so once that's done, we bag the scope. Once you bag the scope, we tie this part here on top. Okay. So once that's uh, tight there, most of these laundry bags will have an opening at the end. So we use that end itself to give relief for the objective, like that. Okay. So the objective is released. Then the next thing that needs relief is the eyepiece itself. So we're going to give some relief for the eyepiece like that by putting a small hole there so we give relief for the eyepiece and the third thing that needs relief is the magnet changer itself so some of some people like to rotate it through this itself but I like to give some relief because this is covered with plastic anyway so we give relief there for the magnet changer as well so those three reliefs and then what we do is we close these uh, with the help of a stapler so we cover these like that so whatever is sticking out, we just close this up. Alright, so once that's done, uh, the next thing is the assistoscope. For the assistoscope, what we do is, we cut similar bags itself, we cut into 3 or 4 different sizes and then we can use a smaller size just to cover the assistoscope as well. So, we use a separate piece of plastic for the assistoscope and then cover it up like that. Again, you can just staple up the loose ends. Okay. And you're good to go. So that's the bag and as far as direct splatter goes, we uh, we tried different things and we found that the best way to prevent is or the most ergonomic way to do this is to use these face shields inverted. So we hook these up onto the uh, you know, tech, the eyepiece and then the assistant can work like that. So one one of one face shield for the assistant, you can do the same thing for the operator as well. So hook this up for the operator as well. So the operator also can work like that. So this is how we uh, do things here. Uh, now it looks, uh, uh, the only disadvantage I can think of is there's too much of plastic. So I'm hoping that any manufacturer who's listening to this is going to uh, actually make something something which is more biodegradable uh, rather than using this so much of plastic. So that's how we go about bagging this whole.